Hello and welcome. It is the 26th of March, Friday, 6 p.m. And, ah, oh, typical, typical, typical. And it's the start of season five, the start of foot birthday, new objectives, new milestones, probably possible new SPCs, um, stuff like that. Season five is going to bring us probably the same set out as before. Okay, for birthday we have a Thiago, a Sane, Lucas Moura, Vardy and Mendy. Okay, all pretty much players that we've had cards for before all, all over the place. We've had special versions of each of them, except Moura and Sane have been centralised, as in they were left wing, right wing, now they're centre attacking, centre attacking. Thiago, same position, Vardy obviously is still same position. Mendy looks nuts and he is a left back. We've also got a right mid Perisic, I've been told. Let's see if we can actually get in this time. Seven days of um, for birthday by the looks of it from that counter in the bottom left hand corner. Here we go. Um, first things first, let's have a look at the season. No events, season progress. Okay, standard thing, 75 plus rare player. Coin boots, that's normal, it's what we always get. Premium gold pack, normal, what we always get. A T-Rex or a King Frog in green, the obvious choices for this. I'm not sure, I never see anybody here with the, the customised ones. Everybody has playing club-based or country-based TFOs and stuff like that, so I don't think anybody's going to be having them. 75 plus rated player as normal. Then we have the same badges as before. Love a jumbo premium, uh, sorry, jumbo gold pack. Also been told we've got a foot birthday Podolski, a foot birthday Huntelaar with pace, a foot birthday Inaki Williams with 96 pace, a Mario Hermosa, the athletic central defender, the Sambia that we've already got the silver stars card for is now an 86 right back, which will make him nuts. Um, a left mid Simon, who's just going to be quick as anything. And then a striker, Juan He Chan, the guy that people have got the 77 one to watch for, but hasn't progressed anywhere from there. Uh, level 8 is a water elemental and a golem. That's a, that's a certain type of look you're looking for for your stadium. Players gold pack. We should have two sets of player picks. There we go. More stadium themes and more TFOs. Football related TFO. 75 plus rated rare player, which obviously everybody's looking for these days. Small prime gold pack. Then the storyline players are. Oberfemi Martins, he's got a different hair, I didn't recognise him. Five foot seven, high medium. That is insane acceleration. For a five foot seven player, that acceleration is going to be nuts. Reaction to composure a little bit lower than normal, and volleys and penalties a little bit lower than normal, but is the, the important shooting ones are decent at this stage. He's got good jumping, no traits. The balance, the agility, the acceleration is going to make him fairly meta, but at this stage you kind of want higher dribbling, higher shooting, but that could be fixed with the cards. We have Angel Gomez, who was at Man United and now moved out to Portugal, 5'6", he's at Boa Vista. Lacking on the strength, the aggression and stuff like that, no defensive abilities really, but he is, was he 5'6", five, yeah, five, medium, medium. The dribbling is... Nice there, fairly well rounded. Obviously, top two are always higher than the other ones. Um, and yeah, that looks a decent card for Portugal. They may have Portugal rated a uh, themed objective during the game. And we have Ta is Tarek Fozu, is it? Yeah, Tarek Fozu, who's a high me high low left wing, five for eight. So all three players are short. <laughs> Four star skill moves at Brentford. Now obviously if you've got your championship team you'll already have Scott Sinclair the 82 player on the right on the left wing but this guy looks 
pretty decent as well. I'd have to look at comparison. And actually, that pace is nice, 96, 93. So there you go. Bit of flair. Decent card, championship, but people have got Scott Sinclair, so I'm probably going to be leaning towards that Martins card. Although the English link is good, there are better cards there, probably the Martins. We'll have a look later, we'll get around to it. Um, Aquatic Empire, sketch pad, rare gold pack, rare gold pack. Two lovely rare gold packs at that stage, that's all good. Aquatic Empire, sketch pad, stadium themes, yeah. rare electron players. Aquatic Empire background TIFO. They don't even fit on the screen. Lovely. That sketch pad literally looks like something a kid drew. That's great. Good work. Diamond Ball. That's probably the most expensive ball that I have in the round. Um, a Mega Pack. A Prime Gold Players Pack. Concrete Canvas. Concrete Cam. Fair enough. Uh, Rio Carnival. Oh my word, 89 rated end game players. Lamella is going to be a popular choice for Premiership. Very popular. And then Premier League prime rated players, Serie A prime players and League A prime players, which fits because last time we had Germany, Spain and... Where else do we have? Germany, Spain and something else. I think Premier League as well, actually. Concrete Canvas, Rio as well. Concrete Canvas and Rio as well. Concrete Canvas is basically a graffiti by the looks of it. Then you've got a Lamella. 98 Aggression. If he hasn't got Flair, yeah, he's got Flair, flair and Finesse, which makes sense after the Rabona. High defensive work rate. Hmm. That looks quite similar to the Buenadilla card at Norwich. But, yeah, that's a decent card. Good 90 stats littered all over the place, to be honest. I'll probably put an engine on him. Because that maximises passing, boosts his agility, his balance, and give him a little bit of pace boost to get that into the early 90s. That's pretty decent. Okay, Jimmy Brian, French League, French striker. It's a little lacking on stamina, agility, and balance. But he's a good you know, six foot, so he can play target man. Bordeaux depends. Not many people run French league based squads, but a French player is always useful. And he's the kind of player, when you have high agility, balance, dribbling, and ball control, your reactions and your composure are lower. But then when they lower the dribbling, ball control, and that stuff, then they whack the reactions and composure up to give you a different type of player. Like you've got to have one or t'other. But that, he's decent enough, but he's not going to be. People are going to pick the other players. Oh, that. 95 stamina, good pace. Pace splits the wrong way round. The dribbling is good. Candreva of Sampdoria in Italy. Power free kick. Medium four star, four star is better. Yeah, people will have that. But I think Lamella is going to be the one that gets picked there. Because more people, the Premiership League is a more popular league to come up. I didn't look at the other things. It's a more popular league to come up against. But there you go. Right. Blimey. Okay, cool. This is good. Daily objectives are back. The normal standard things as with every other season. SBC daily competition. Oh, we have a daily competition SBCs. Daily completion SBCs. Okay. And you get a mega pack for doing them for four days. Foot Birthday Huntelaar, Managerial Masterpieces. Okay. Assist four goals using three balls, using forwards, score two balls out of the box, score eight goals using Dutch players. Foot Friendlies, you win seven matches and score in 13 matches of Bundesliga. Bundesliga. So the focus is Bundesliga and Dutch, surprisingly, because Huntelaar is Dutch and playing at Schalke at the moment. Week one bronze, play three matches, score and assist a goal during the same match in the foot. These are all very basic that you can do quite quickly in a simple friendly. And then we'll go to the other ones. That's normal life at friendlies, normal score battles, normal things to work through throughout the season. No new milestones, any new SBCs. We'll have the daily completion SBC, I guess. Javier Hernandez is still there. Darwin McKees is still there. Lucas Podolski is a two 
a two segment. That's a nice card. 99 volleys, 99 penalties, 99 shot power. Ooh. Good thing I've got a whole ton of packs to open up. Benders are still there, Sancho is still there, Mbappe is still there, Makaleli is still there, Wright is still there, Zambrot is still there. Let's just go to live tab. Is Podolski the only new one? And there you go, daily group challenge. Complete this challenge to progress towards earning a foot birthday SBC plus objective reward. So you'll get four of these over four days and that gets you the mega pack in the other challenge, in the other section, sorry. That is still there. That's still there. Pinata is new. Nivel Crack is a kit SBC. Fair enough. Must be a South Korea related thing that I don't get the reference to. La Ballon Set is another kit. SBC for Team of the Week, Messi and Kundun. These are all there from previous things. Let's have a look at the normal one day challenge. Is this going to be fairly easy or is this going to be have a little degree of difficulty? Okay, so it's just eight players. Maximum of six nationalities, minimum of three clubs. Players from same national region, minimum two. So you need a splattering of clubs and other things. So you can just go one league and just have... Chemistry is low, so it's fairly basic. It's just put eight players in almost. There's no rating thing, so you can use common and got uh, common and rare bronze players. That's bizarre. But there you go. That's fairly straightforward with that. The Podolsky one is interesting. It's a good card, but the league is yeah. Oh, he's in Turkey now. He used to be in Japan, but he's moved to Turkey. And that's going to be 82 and 85. It's a good card and it's a good nation, but it's not a linkable league. So that will split people. If they like him or they like a German team, then yeah. Celebrate this foot 09. Now he's got a five star skill moves upgrade as well. Trying to get his details, yeah. Five star skill moves, three star week for medium low work rate. As a striker, I won't get that, but he's going to be popular and he's going to be lethal. And there we go, I wonder. The other thing I was going to check is I'm assuming there are no new icons, just check just to be on the safe side. Nope. And the leagues are all still there as normal. Yep, MLS and Serie A are at the end. Right, have they brought back pr promos packs? I doubt they have. They have, bloody hell. Okay, they were missing for a week or so since the Icon Gate thing going on. So there you go. Right, that's going to end this off. I'm going to open some packs later on. But I'm just going to play a couple of games first and just have a good feel of the new season. See how we go, get a couple of more things going. But anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching. There'll be another video probably later tonight, definitely one tomorrow. Okay, cheers. Bye.